Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the area and perimeter of the following composite shapes. Remember, a composite shape is created with two or more basic shapes. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have the composite shape given with all the sides. To find the perimeter, the perimeter P equals the sum of all sides. Before you start calculating your perimeter, you must make sure that you have the value of all the sides given. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six sides, and all the sides have been given. So therefore, the perimeter P equals eight centimeters plus three centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 7 centimeters plus 2 centimeters and plus 10 centimeters. Note that all the sides are accounted for. Therefore, putting this in your calculator, you're going to have the perimeter equals to 36 centimeters. To find the area of the shape, because it's a composite shape, we need to divide the shape into two or more basic shapes. In this example, I'm going to divide the composite shape into two basic shapes. I have two rectangles, shape A and shape B, such that the area of the shape will be the area of shape A plus the area of shape B. I'm going to draw a rough sketch of the shapes. I have shape A, a rectangle with sides 8 centimeters and with 3 centimeters. The length is 8 and the width is 3. Shape B, I have it this way. The width is 2 centimeters and the length 7 centimeters. Isn't the formula for the area of a rectangle, which is the length times the width, I have L times the width, the length times the width. In this case, for shape A, the length is 8 centimeters. So I'm going to multiply the length times the width, 3 centimeters, plus the area of the second shape, which has length 7 centimeters and width 2 centimeters. 8 times 3. That's 24 square centimeters plus 7 times 2, that's 14 square centimeters. Adding it together, the total area is 38 square centimeters. Let's look at another example. In the second example, I have another composite shape with all the sides given. To find the perimeter, we need to add all the sides, so some perimeter equals sum of all sides. That's equal to 7 meters plus 6 meters plus 4 meters plus 2 meters plus 3 meters again. That's going to change that to meters and 4 meters. Like I said earlier, you need to make sure that all the sides are counted for. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. I have seven, six, four, two, three, and four. If I add that together, I'm going to have 26 meters as my perimeter. To find the area, the area, because it's a composite shape, I'm going to split up the shape into basic shapes. If I cut my shape on this side, I have two shapes. I have shape A and shape B. So the total area will be area of shape A plus area of shape B. I'm going to draw a rough sketch of each shape. I have a rectangle with 
the dimension I have six meters and the width four meters. For the second shape, I have a smaller rectangle with length four meters and width three meters. Using the formula for a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is I have my length times my width, length times my width. Therefore, the area of this shape will be the area of the first triangle, that's A, triangle B, that will be 6 meters times 4 meters plus the area of the second rectangle, that's 3 meters times 4 meters. 6 times 4, that's 24 square meters, plus 3 times 4, 12 square meters. Adding them together, the total area is 36 square meters. Thanks for watching. Bye.